Hey, this is Jackie, and I just wanted to share the envelope that I made to go with the card that I posted the other day, my first video. This is my, technically my third. I haven't posted my second one yet because I had to go off and make this. His birthday is tomorrow, so um, I had to finish this, and I wanted to make a video since I'm going to give it to him, and it'll no longer be mine. Um, so anyways, this is the... Um, envelope that goes along with the man card that I made the other day. And basically what I did was I had a piece of grunge paper. And in case you don't know what it looks like, normally grunge paper looks like this. It's a flexible, dingy material. Um, to me, it smells kind of like a mix of like leather and paper or something. I for one, like the way it smells, some people don't. Um, but anyways, I actually die cut this circle out of it, but I just wanted you to see what it normally looks like. It's like a gray color, and it's flexible. So um, I did die cut this ticket out of it with one of the Tim Holtz movers and shapers dies. So it also gives you that nice embossed line in there. Um... What I actually did first was I took my Distress Ink, this color, Walnut Stain, and I just did directly to it. Um, but that wasn't actually necessary because the next thing I did was I wanted to try using my Adirondack Color Wash in denim. And I just ended up spraying that on it, um, which it didn't give it an even coverage. So um, after I had sprayed it directly on it, on my non-stick craft mat, I ended up just turning it over and actually patting it into and kind of rubbing it around to get this even coverage. Um, it's not completely even, and that's kind of how I wanted it. There are some lighter spots in there, so um, I did want it like that, so that was fine with me. And to stamp his name, I used a stamp set from Kaiser Craft. And I think it's literally called Vintage Letters. Um, I just got it, but I threw away the uh, packaging because um, I just store my stamps on these pieces of plastic. But um, this is what it looks like. It's these nice letters. So um, I actually used a white chalk ink and I knew that it wouldn't really show up white. Uh, it was just one of these recollections chalk ink pads and I actually ended up having to stamp over the same letter multiple times so that's why on some of these you can see kind of a shadow effect um, but I still think it's very readable and once again I was okay with that so that's how I did that and then I know that grunge paper and grunge board is sewable, but I've never sewed it before, so I decided um, that I wanted to go ahead and try to sew it, partially because his name, when I put it on here, if those buttons weren't on there, it wouldn't look centered, so I added the buttons on, um, and I just took, I think this is in embroidery floss. I, you know, I don't sew, so this is actually probably the first time I've sewed. I'm not really, I wouldn't consider myself a crafty individual. I just started paper crafting, so um, sewing is definitely a whole nother thing. Um, but I, I had this on hand because I knew that I was going to want to sew at one point, and I got these, like, gigantic needles. So it was very easy to do. Um, went through really easily. So I got those sewed in there. And then I added this little mini clothespin. And this is actually able to come out. And this little mini clothespin actually came in a 50 pack. And these are just like in the kid craft aisle in at Walmart. So you don't have to go buy those ones that the craft companies are making. And I actually used 
Distress Ink to turn it this color. And the Distress Ink I used was Faded Jeans. And um, to get this coverage, all I did was um, take my ink and I, you know, put a little down on my, squish it down onto my nonstick craft mat. And I kind of just like rub this around in it and it wasn't getting that much coverage so I ended up squirting a little bit of water on it so it could get a little bit more coverage. And then once I was happy with how it was covered, um, I just hit it with my heat tool to set it in there. So I got this little blue clothespin. And for this ticket, um, what I did was I actually have the Tim Holtz, I believe it's the Lost and Found paper stack, and it has just this whole piece of paper with tickets on it. So I took my scissors and I just um, cut them out, and then I wanted it to look like a ticket, so what I did was I actually took my um, hole punch, just a regular one, I, got, I actually got it from the dollar store, and um, I hole punched each corner like that. So that it would look like a ticket. I don't. I didn't do it very well right there, but the this side I'm pretty happy with. And then I just wanted it to be removable. I just wanted it to be natural, so I just put it on there and I clipped it on. And that's it. That's the uh, front. I used a couple new techniques. I've never used a clothespin before. I never. You know, used a hole punch to do that. I never sewed in the Grinch paper. I've never used color wash. Um, so it was fun to do this, and then I just kind of popped it up. So you can see this is actually very uneven. Um, I When I heat set the color wash into this, it just started getting all warped, and I couldn't get it unwarped, so... I, I mean, I tried putting, I don't know, maybe I can get one more in there so that it'll be not so down like that. But anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. If you're curious how to make an envelope for a 6x6 six six inch card, um, this card, I mean, it's pretty, I consider it thick. Um, just the regular dimensions that the Martha Stewart scoreboard gave me worked perfectly fine. Um, you actually cut out a 10 by 10 piece of paper and then you score at three and three quarters, three and three quarters, three and three quarters, three and three quarters. So it's, it's all the same measurements all around. Very simple, very easy to do. Um, and then what you do is you're going to end up with these little corners of where your score lines cross and you're actually going to cut those off so that you can get this little part right here. So, um, very easy to do even without the Martha Stewart scoreboard. Um, so just a little tidbit, and so hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I had fun making this, and I think it came out kind of cute. So um, once again, thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye.